the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, the church celebrates the memorial of St. John Chrysostom, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. Through his intercession, may God grant us the grace for us to live according to our Christian calling in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And as you go about your activity today, may God grant you the grace you need for you to keep up on the path of truth to Christ our Lord. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. The Bishop St. John Christotum should be hilarious by his wonderful eloquence and his experience of suffering. Grant us, we pray, that instructed by his teaching, we may be strengthened through the example of his invisible patience. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit 
one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, if I preach the gospel, that gives me no ground for boasting, for necessity is laid upon me. Woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. For if I do this of my own will, I have a reward. But if not of my own will, I am entrusted with a commission. What then is my reward? Just this, that in my preaching I may make the gospel free of charge not making full use of my right in the gospel. For though I am free from all men, I have made myself a slave to all, that I might win the more. I have become all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. I do it all, for the sake of the gospel, that I may share in its blessings. Do you not know that in a race, all the runners compete, but only one receives the prize? So run that you may obtain it. Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable. Well, I do not run aimlessly. I do not box as one beating the air, but I pummel my body and subdue it, lest, after preaching to others, I myself should be disqualified. The word of the Lord. lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. My heart and my flesh cry out 
to believe in God. Even the sparrow finds a home for the swallow. In which she said, I young at your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed is the man whose strength is in you, whose heart is set on pilgrim's ways. A shield the Lord will give us his favor and glory. He will not withhold any good to those who walk without blame. in your own eye. 
you hypocrites. First, take out the log of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take out the speck that is in your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, as I said at the introduction to this Mass today, we celebrate the memorial of St. John Chrysostom. He is one of the few doctors of the church, an early church father who was born in Antioch, and was known for his eloquence in preaching and his denunciation of the abuse of authority, of extravagance among the laity, and of course, the clergy. And because of this, he won a lot of enemies. And later he was sent an exile. But St. John Chrysostom did not stop. He did not relent in his preaching. And that won him the Greek title, Chrysostom, which means golden mounted. He is a patron, saint of lecturers, epileptic patients, public speakers, and preachers. I'm quite sure this personality of ours is one who resonates the example of what we talk about in the readings of today. In St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians, Paul made it clear that there is no reason at all to boast because he is one who carries the word of God and who preaches it well. Rather, it calls for humility and a sense of commitment to the cause. As Christians, we have the authority, the mandate, and the call to preach the gospel of Christ. Even if we are not ordained ministers, our lives should be shining example to attest to the fact that Christ is the good news. Just as St. John Chrysostom dedicated his life in preaching and doing all things to all people, so also St. Paul did, and we are encouraged to do the same. St. John Chrysostom was a man who lived part of his life as a monk, and later as a hermit, and then before he was ordained a priest. In our Christian journey, my dear brothers and sisters, Sometimes we, we become too boastful of the fact that we are called Christians, even though some of us will not lead to the expectation of Christianity. And that is why in the Gospel, Jesus presents to us the parable. Now how come you see the, the, the speck in your brother's eye, yet you don't notice the large log of wood in your own eye? It then means that our Christianity should be able to help us look inward, first of all, to address the issues in our hearts and in our personality, and then we can be able to address the issue in the world. In Nigeria, as our country today, we are very quick to apportion blames to leaders and those in authority. But we forget that we too make up the government. If we do not play our own part, definitely the country in which we live will feel it. We pray that through the help of the Holy Spirit, we may be able to win souls for Christ, maybe not by preaching alone, but very importantly, by the way we live our lives. And then we must ensure that we ourselves are fully taught. Then we can be able to teach others. Because Christ says in the Gospel that a blind man cannot lead a blind man. One of them should be able to be enlightened because if a blind man leads another blind man, definitely they will fall into a ditch. Which one are you? The blind man or the one who is able to see the truth for what it is, know it, learn it, and then be able to lead others to the truth. In order to address the ills of our country, my dear brothers and sisters, we must be ready to unlearn the bad things and learn the good ones. And not just learning them, but strive to have the courage, 
the boldness like St. John Christostom had to be able to preach it in our lives. We pray for the intercession of our Blessed Mother that she will give us the grace to be able to do this and make our world a better place. This is our prayer through Christ our Lord. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May this sacrifice which we gladly present in commemoration of St. John Christotum be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise to christ our lord Amen. the lord be with you Amen. lift up your heart let us give thanks to the lord our god it is truly right, right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god to christ our lord for as on the festival of St. John Chrysostom, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread in giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Ignatius, our Archbishop, and Sir Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we send Joseph as spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Look up, my brothers and sisters. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. to make a good communion. Mary, my dearest mother, pray to Jesus for me. My dear angel guardian, lead me to the altar of God. Acts of faith. Oh, my God. 
sacraments most holy, all sacraments divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacraments most holy, O sacraments divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacraments most holy, O sacraments divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Jesus, I love you. All I have is yours. Yes, I am. Yes, I want to be. Do with me whatever you will. Jesus, I love you. All I have is yours. Yes, I am. Yes, I want to be. Do with me whatever you will. Jesus, I love you. All I have is yours. Yes, I am. Yes, I want to be. Do with me whatever you will. The Jubilee Prayer, all. Father in heaven, may the faith you have given us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our brother, and the flame of charity enkindled in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, reawaken in us the blessed hope for the coming of your kingdom. May your grace transform us into tireless cultivators of the seeds of the gospel. May those seeds transform from within both humanity and the whole cosmos in the sure expectation of a new heaven and a new earth. When with the powers of evil vanquished, your glory will shine eternally. May the grace of the Jubilee reawaken in us pilgrims of hope, a yearning for the treasures of heaven. May that same grace spread the joy and peace of our Redeemer throughout the earth. To you, our God, eternally blessed, be glory and praise forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. St. John Christostom Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that this mystery we have received as a commemorate St. John Chrysostom may confirm in us your love and enable us to be faithful in confessing your truth to Christ our Lord. Glory to Jesus. The family for Thanksgiving may now please come forward. Is that you do my dynasty? 
May the blessing and the benefit of this mass never depart from you as you go about your activity today in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord be with you. As you go, may the Lord bless and keep you. May he let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he keep you safe from the forces of darkness and the plan of the enemy. And may the blessing of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit come down upon you all and remain with you both now and forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Have a beautiful and fruitful day ahead.